Hello Donuts, today we will be reacting to the most unhinged British TikToks. And as this video goes on, the more unhinged and outrageous the TikToks get. So stick to the end. Excuse me sir, sorry to disturb, I'm from BBC Newsnight. Just wondering what you think about Boris Johnson resigning today. I want him to go, he's a pain in the arse. Oh, yes! Starting off strong, a bit of Boris slander. I'm here for this. And not in a political way, guys, right? Just in a friendly kind of banter way. The dedication to take the tab out of his mouth for a second to give his opinion. This is the kind of British fellas this country was built on. Good start, son. Love it. What's this called then, this latest car? It's called a Range Rover. <laughs> It's so funny that we went from one guy who hates Boris Johnson to a family that probably support him. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather take the previous guy's four wheels than a Range Rover every day. Don't quote me on that. If, if somebody does offer me both, I probably would take the Range Rover. Uh, sorry for the hot take. I just, I don't know. It's a bit warmer. I wouldn't want to feel the cold breeze on my balls. What am I saying? I don't know. By the way, doesn't this guy look a little bit like Prince William? Is it just me who thinks this? He has like a Prince William look about him. It might just be the unfortunate balding. Top comment. Prince William jump scare. Sam, me and you have the same thoughts. Not now, my mum. Please don't tell me fucking mention my mum. Please, don't, don't tell me you fucking mention Where's my mum. So far, apparently this guy on the right must have mentioned the guy on the left's mum. For some reason, I don't- how do you get into that situation on the tube? The unwritten rule on the tube is you, you just get on with your head down and then you get off where you need to get off. How do you go on and your mother gets slandered? You've got to question yourself. How did you get yourself into that situation? I swear to God, if you fucking mention my mum, I'll fucking cut your throat out right here. Was it oh, anything to do with my mother? Mom? Was it any fucking thing to do Don't with touch me? me? Don't touch me! Don't ever touch me! Don't touch me! Okay. So, a little bit further forward here. The guy on the left clearly loves his mum, and the guy on the right clearly hates being touched. Choose your fighter, guys. Love your mum, a personal space. You can only choose one. I love that this guy just got up from his seat and walked away. He was like, I'm just gonna move before anything kicks off. I think that would be me. I'm videoing this for TikTok. Oh my god. How, how old do you think we are? <laughs> Like 23? Okay, when you said I'm filming this for TikTok, that kind of does show that you're not. <laughs> <laughs> she absolutely rinsed them. That's like two sex. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna upstate me state. Upstate. Well, that's that joke, Raymond. Well done, Cam. I'm just going to update me. No, you know what? I'm not even going to finish it now. Should I? Should, should I finish the... I'll, I'll finish it, right? Just pretend that never happened. <clears throat> I'm just going to update me status. I've lost it. I've lost it. It's your fault, that. Right? Always chiming in. Can't keep quiet, you. Can hardly get a word in. By the way, is this girl on the train home from Redden Festival? Because she must be... You know, you're hungover. Yes, you haven't had a proper wash in a couple of days. Last thing you want to talk to is millennials talking about uploading something to TikTok. No shame to a millennials watching, whatever you're called. Viral on the internet because you were arrested and you were a piece of broccoli. Um, yes. Uh, do you identify as broccoli? Or? I, I am Mr. Broccoli, yes. Yes, that's right, please. Um, do you have another name or not? No, Mr. Broccoli is that's me. It. Yeah, you that's don't it. go about your daily business as a piece of broccoli. I've always been a piece of broccoli. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. So, what, so do you have a job? Uh, I just grow. I just grow. Someone's a comedian. Couple of questions. You've really gotta you've really gotta admire the, 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 the audacity for this man to come dressed as a broccoli. Question, why? Why is there a broccoli on the news? I don't need to know what's going on in the broccoli world. As long as they're growing, that's all I need to know. As long as they're ready for Christmas or when I go to the Toby Carvery, that's where I cut off how much I need to know about how broccoli's doing. Also, you've gotta really think about the cauliflowers right now. Right? All this attention for broccoli, what does that do for cauliflower stock? God, it's a tough year for it to be a cauliflower. Tough year. Yeah. By the way, I just want to stop this video to say that 70.4% of you donors have not subscribed to the channel. Ugh. I've had at least 15 messages from people on Instagram saying that YouTube is unsubscribed them from the channel. So just double check that you are subscribed. Also, if you're brand new here, do consider subscribing so you never miss a video. We're on the road to 100k. Come on. Now let's get back to the video. No! No! What the fuck? <laughs> I'm getting really sick of you!
you go? Oh my god, Jesus. He's one of those kids in school, you know, that would bark at you. <laughs> I do feel sorry for this kid, though. Right, obviously I have no context to this video whatsoever. But this, this kid clearly, you know, might be, might, might struggle with certain aspects of life. And these, these kids are clearly picking on him. That is not cool. Not in my book. You never pick on the kid that roars. Because eventually, when you're not looking, they might eat you. That's my motto. Someone stick that on a t-shirt. Merch coming soon, guys. Get out! No! No! Get out! Get out! No! You know how he keeps saying get out? That was like me, you know, when like I lived at home and you know, I don't know if your mum used to do this or does this, but where it'll be like seven in the morning and they'll just come in your room to just hang stuff up in your wardrobe really loudly. And you're like, it's Saturday at 7 a.m. Get out! Stop chasing them kids! <laughs> Uh, he's chasing you! There's a man behind you! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No, you can't laugh at that! Guys, that's a serious issue. The kid at the front sprints when he hears that there's an old man chasing him. Watch him change his pace here. There's a man behind you! <laughs> <laughs> You've got to rate the trust on the kid before he even looks back. He was like, man... He was like Usain Bolt. That's what he needs to do to motivate himself. Not like, not think of being fit. I just pretend there's an old man chasing you. That'll get you to shift. Imagine just being this guy, this 60 year old guy as well. You've told your other wife. You're like, you know what? I'm gonna I've built up the courage for a month. I'm gonna just go on a run. I'm gonna just try and reduce me cholesterol and try and, you know, live a longer, happier life. And then your first run, you get called a pedo. Motivation ruined. You're out of there. Just like that, you've knocked years off your life. <laughs> Fucking tea, you dickhead. <laughs> that is bold, to be fair. I would never. Uh, anyone that is bringing you a drink, why would you try and prank them? Do you know what they could do with that drink straight away? I'd be like, all right, <laughs> spit in it. Now you've got a little floater in it, love. Right, there you go. Drink your tea. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, shitbag. What is something all men fantasize about? Oh, wait, wait. Let me answer this one. Let me answer this one. Uh, what do I fantasize about? Um, fuck. What do I fantasize about? Do you know what? I had loads of dreams about a, a getting a giant bean bag, and then I bought the bean bag. I thought it would look really good in me setup. I thought I'd get loads of compliments about me giant bean bag. Can you see the bean bag? No, you fucking can't. I paid money for a bean bag that you can't even see. You know what? I'm gonna film it on me phone. Look, here's the bean bag. There it is. Right? Beautiful. Now I can go to sleep a happy man. Other men? Did you say other men? Other men. Other men. Did you boys hear that? Do you understand the question? What? What I fantasize? Yeah, yeah. What? What men fantasize about? Yeah, yeah. Other men. Oh. Yes. LGBTQ king coming out on a street interview. It's the best way to do it. Just get it out the way. I'm fantasizing about all the boys in my friendship group. Supreme leader, how has your trip to London been so far? Fantastic. The supreme leader says his trip to London has been wonderful. He's seen all the sights and he loves to be here. Brilliant. Well, um, he met the leader of South Korea this week. It's been very busy. How has his talks been going? Supreme Leader, how have your talks with South Korea been going? Great. And there'll be no World War Three, for now. Oh, my God. God, that is terrible. But that's not even funny. Do you know what? When some offensive jokes, you know, it's like being worded well and it's like you can appreciate at least the joke. What's the joke there? Because he looks North Korean and looks like Kim Jong-un. What? Someone said it's an impersonator, by the way, in the comments. Yeah, thanks, MCFC. I'm glad you're here, right? I almost thought that was Kim Jong-un for a minute with the English accent. By the way, if I'm Kim Jong-un and I saw that and I've got a red button that I can press to get rid of a country, I'm pressing it. I'd be like, it was all you, Holly. And Schofield. Schofield, haven't you done enough? Right. Why? Why are you going to call the police? You're supposed to keep two metres apart because the virus is going on at the moment. I don't think that's two metres. I think her measurement's a little bit off there. I think she needs a ruler. I'm in a car. Doesn't matter. What are you, you on about? You haven't got my problem, OK? I'm in a car. That's so unhinged. What? She, she wants him to social distance, but he's in the car. What are you meant to do in a car park? The spaces are right next to each other. Are you meant to not? What does she want? Would you like to see a full video on, on British current meltdowns if you would let us know? Because I kind of want to make one because I just can't explain them. This man. How are you, mate? You good? Come back, please. Did you see that? Fucking hilarious, that. Father Christmas is just got violent and aggressive. Oh my god. Little bit of Christmas spirit to get you in the mood. <laughs> and you see when he opens that door again. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> This is my Wizard of Oz, and he's my Dorothy. This is the new Wizard of Oz, it's perfect. I'm like, imagine having to sit in there all day. Imagine how, like, uncomfortable your butt would be. How, how am I meant to fit my BBL bottom in there? Get me a bigger one. No, don't. Don't. Don't press it. 
Don't do Oh, he's gonna press it. Oh my god. Wait, what do you think happens? What do you think happens? I think, uh, I reckon the, the, the previous person's poop comes up and shoots you in the face. And you have to eat it. <laughs> What? Oh my god, I would do that mid poop. I'd be like, just keep battering it while I'm, while I'm trying to get it out. Just yes, just kind of get in the groove of it. So pointless, but just so amazing. Oh, salt and pepper box, guys. Oh, what my fucking god. You fucking what? You fucking what? You're looking at me. I'll fucking do you. I've got a Chinese me. You what? What was the what was there a voice? Oh, what my fucking god. You fucking what? You fucking what? You're Nobody even me. said anything. I'll fucking do you. I've got a Chinese mate. Who got a Chinese in that instant thought is violence? By the way, this gives me like uh like memories of when I used to do uh delivery for a for a for a takeaway shop. Uh the boxes were the exact same as this. I think it's the exact same box. This is just uh, give us a bit of nostalgia there. What the fuck? Let me know your Chinese order and I'm gonna rate them in the comments. If it isn't, salt and pepper chicken, salt and pepper chips, noodles, rice, and curry sauce all over. I don't wanna hear it. Prawn crackers as well. Don't forget the prawn crackers. If you spend over a certain amount, you get them for free in some place. Places. Remember that. Yeah, look at this. Look at the fucking size of that baby bell. That's not a baby bell. That's a full grown bell. That's a grander bell. Jesus Christ. How do you get a baby bell that big? Christ, if I ate that, I'd be itching for a week. Too much dairy. Right? And I'll tell you for why. I've got psoriasis. Enough of the questions, guys. Always asking us questions. Do me head in. <laughs> Why? That's the only thing I've really got. Just why? He was by himself. Look at him. By himself, just just screaming. <coughs> but what's the reason though? It's it's just a tough day at work. You just like to your co-workers, uh, I'm gonna let off some steam. Are you gonna go to the gym? No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scream on the tube. Alright, mate. See you tomorrow, Darren. This is normal on the tube. This isn't this isn't like unheard of. The amount of times I, I get on the tube when I lived in London, there's just things going on that you can't even explain. How's that even a thing? I'm trying to think of the weirdest thing that's happened on the tube. I remember there was people breakdancing on the tube, but like they weren't like performing at anything. They were just breakdancing. I was like, why are you breakdancing? We don't go any faster. It's not like the Flintstones love. You can't just dig your feet underneath the train and start peddling yourself. Well, you thought it was a 14 year old, didn't you? Well, no, I didn't. Who I... did you send Stan it to? Stan said it was a. She was 18, it was on the profile. Stan, you've got to blame Stan. Stan said she was 18. Get Stan on. I want it like the Jeremy Kyle show. I want to ask him if, if this is true. We need Stan's alibi. This is a law for this man. Imagine shouting in the alleyway, I thought she was 18. You know when you like look at like someone like this, you would never suspect this guy would be uh, into that kind of dodgy stuff, would you? I guess you can just never judge a book by its cover, guys. This guy looks like he would murder children, I'm not going to lie. And that's just the, the white jeans, right? Uh, you can never trust a man in white jeans I've been saying this for years and now my hypothesis has is, is come to light now it's true any man you see wearing wearing slim white jeans run for the hills their intentions aren't pure I saw this Twitter post about the British actress Imogen Poots and that her middle name is gay and that sent me down a rabbit hole of some absolutely unhinged British names here are some that I found Macintosh Muggleton I'm sorry is someone actually called Macintosh Muggleton why are you naming your child after the hardware that Powers a MacBook. What are you doing? Macintosh? Are you okay? Christ. Also, right, the second name, I know you can't pick that, but Muggleton. This is such a Harry Potter name. Macintosh Muggleton. Duh. Filthy mudblood. God, that poor child. Horatio Bottomley. Horatio Bottomley. I actually played a character called Horatio in my school play. Uh, Hamlet, if you're asking. Yes, I'm cultured. So hard being cultured in today's society. <sighs> There's not many of us left. <laughs> this one's name is Guy Standing. <laughs> why, have they, why have they put the guy's name as Guy Standing and he's sitting down? That is hilarious. Oh my God. Why are you calling your child Guy? You wouldn't call your child Gaul or Girl, would you? <laughs> Oh my god. Do you know what? Nah, 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 nah. Dick Pound, that's not unhinged. That is perfect. It does what it says on the tin. I don't know, he's like a pot noodle. When you see a pot noodle, you're like, it's noodle in a pot. When you see Dick Pound, he knows how to pound. <laughs> That is a man that I could get behind. Not literally, right? Definitely wouldn't want to be in front of him if he's got a name like that. Christ, have to watch me back. Are you all right now with the malaria yeah, thing? Yeah, I am. Oh my God. I'm back to I mean, I know fitness. it was very serious when it was happening, but yeah. I've got to say, you rocked that malaria look when they kept doing that close-up of your next fact to go in. Next week, Cheryl comes down with the malaria and yeah. you had a bit of lippy on and a hoodie and I thought, she looks gorgeous. Oh my 
God, did you actually? She said that live on air. Yeah, guys, watch out for Rimmel London's new uh, collection. Get the malaria look coming soon to a screen near you. Who says that? Malaria is such a serious, serious illness. That's like going, yeah, you really, you really rocked the cancer look. The whole, you know, the look. You really, really rocked it. Who looks at someone with malaria and goes, wow, they? I wish I could look like that. No, you're just like, I hope they're okay and don't die. Anyway, if you would like to see me react to some more British TikToks, click. Right here.